how do you now question as an individual is that how do you identify those who should be given permits? Now, if government is seeking to provide 8,000 permits, the question is to who? To who? My dad, who is here, uh, I don't know whether he's poor, but of course, he's pending salary, but do you know his expenditure profile? Whether he can uh, actually access uh, that. So, will he be among those that are categorized as a poor person that needs 8,000 naira per month? And now, the question is 8,000 naira for how long? How sustainable is this? How, what can, in this current Nigeria context, what can 8,000 provide for a household? Now, you need all eligibility criteria to access those who should be able to access. Uh, this permit. So that's your big question is you now when you're looking at it from the economic point, financial point of view, you say what should the financial institution how will they come into this? Now if the government is able to identify or be able to set up eligibility criteria that people are identified, who is okay the financial institutions should set up strategies, should set up structures that they need to meet this even with their local environment, instead of traveling probably to the headquarters of their state, to be able to sit at their comfort and access some of this one, either to their phone or whichever other that is in their wallet they have. So it's not need to go out and this is travel cost, this is uh, accident, this is death. So there are things, this, some of these social vices, going to collect money and traveling by camera So the financial institution should look at from that point of view of making it easy for the masses of citizens to access those things out there. You see, as I only answered the question, you can't have a free for all office where there are no regulations. There is no economy that thrives on a on free fair economy. Yeah? Everybody determines. The forces of the market determine that. And some of these ones are, are not uh, realistic. Because some of them are probably as much of being the order so as to be big gain. Do you understand? And and it's, they are temporary. Now, the effect of that is the common man is that they don't even have access to that. And that's why you see the internet is more of the common people who do not have access. And that's why we are saying that if it is regulated, at the same time, the government should be looking at how to reduce dollarization of our economy so that we don't continue to dollarize every of our activities. We won't speak with dollarized. So, when you dollarize everything, it is a difficult for you to improve your economy locality. And that's why we cannot compete internationally. So, as much as possible, we should reduce the dollarization of our, our commodities or activities or services. But you're interested to know that we have about 114 uh, finance companies in Nigeria today, but almost about 90 or 100 are in the areas. Only one in Delta, maybe two in Rivers, and have a few probably in Abuja. So, Expansion for finance and probably the cost of uh, opening up offices and operation. You look at that and side by side the economy. Look at how profitable is it for you to expand. But of course, part of our expansion strategy in the next in the time, in medium time, uh, is that we will move to the branch to south south and look at having a branch in the southwest. So at least for the first in the first six months, we're looking at that expansion strategy. So. In, in terms of insider abuse, how do you mitigate against it? There are a lot of policies and regulations or guidelines stipulated or identified or outlined by CBN that will control us. Every day they come up with new device guidelines. And actually, with that, all that control measure or that examination will come from every so often to mitigate against them. Exactly. Uh, how do we intend um, to. Yeah, this, uh, this uh, is a very good question. You know, uh, the world, or it's a Nigeria as well, is a very large economy. And um, the population is, uh, is the interest we have in this country. And that's why you see a lot of uh, foreign interest in Nigeria too. And we are going to leverage on our economy and the size of our population, which makes it very easy for us to take a chunk too uh, as part of our local point of uh, survival.